Assalamualaikum and hi to our lecturers. Today we're going to present about our mini project. My name is Muhammad Sharifuddin bin Muhammad Nasir and my friend is Fazri bin Fazili. First, problem statement. Uh, and here we have five problem statement. Number one is find or create transfer function with at least one k value, two poles and three zeros. Two, based on the based on the above transfer function, use scilab and board plot technique to illustrate its amplitude response and phase response. Show the gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin and phase margin for the transfer function. 3. Use both lead compensator to further improve 10% of current phase margin of the response. Show the final transfer function of the compensator and its phase and amplitude response. 4. Use both lag compensator to further improve 10% of current phase margin of the response. Show the final transfer function of the compensator and its phase and amplitude response. 5. Based on your finding in question 3 and 4, which compensator that can be used to archive 10% improvement of phase margin? Please provide an explanation. Next is objective. To determine the gain and phase margin of the system. Second, to design a compensator to further improve 10% of current phase margin of the response. And last, to determine which compensator that can be used to archive 10% improvement of phase margin. Okay, for transfer function. For zeros, we use value negative 4 and negative 8. And for poles, we use 8, 1 and 3. First, we need to change, we need to convert S to J omega. Uh, and this is our equation for convert S to J omega. Okay, in order to calculate the board plot, the S need to change to J omega, then find the magnitude of the transfer function. For gain board plot, use 20 log G J omega to find the log amplitude plot. While for phase board plot, use the angle to find the phase This is our plot for amplitude plot. This is our phase plot where we use the angle to find the phase plot. Where the before in amplitude plot we use 20 log, but in phase plot we use angle to find the phase plot. This is our board plot for phase plot. Hi, I'm Fazre and I will talk about the lead compensator. First, we have the phase margin that we got from the plot that we did in Scilab. Also, the gain crossover frequency, gain margin and phase crossover frequency. Uh, first, we need to find the phi max. So next, we need to find the alpha. The alpha will be used uh, to calculate tau later on. This is where we can calculate the tau. And we get the value of uh, GC. And then we put the equation in the side lab. We say the value G and value GC. Uh, we multiply it and we will get the phase margin and uh, also the gain crossover frequency. For the light compensator, we have the phase margin required. Uh, we need to time it with uh, 110% because we want 10%. So for the safety margin is uh, 23.653. Uh, first, we need to find where find the frequency. And at the magnitude response, we need to find the gain. 
and the gain we cut from the side lap and also the gain at omega c to obtain alpha uh, this is uh, the value of tau you also get the value of gc uh, when we get the value of gc we put it into the side lap and we have the value of gc here and also the value of g we multiply it so the same like the lead capacitor we get the phase margin and gain cross over frequency this is the lead capacitor which i said before that we get the value of the frequency okay lastly is conclusion model control theory offers control system engineers a, a valuable design tool that is well suited for synthesizing control system with multiple inputs and determining optimal control strategies. The outcome of the project certified the requirement need in both questions. An error can be made if the input such as the value of alpha and tau is rounded off to incorrect decimal point, which is not accurate enough to get the value of the phase lead or lag to be at last, to be at least, sorry, to be at least, 10% improvement. The design procedure and explanation for lag compensator have presented by using Scilab. By using a Scilab, the plot can be designed to get gain and phase margin. To conclude, the system is stable because all the requirement is satisfied to be a stable system. So that all from us. Thank you.